Hey, are you getting ready to shop at Sam's Club? Come along with me. We're going to shop in store. I'm going to show you all the things that are new for October 2024, and we're going to do a haul. So let's go shop at Sam's Club and see what's on sale and what's new in store. If you guys are going to go pumpkin picking, excuse my Midwest, $6.98. Don't buy the pumpkins at the pumpkin patch. Come this, just take them for the adventure and then come here. If you guys are Christmas junkies like me, they got some fun stuff. <sighs> wow. So that one's, how do those feel? Are they like cheapy plastic or? Yeah. I wonder if they're more durable. I like how they're like kind of holographic. They're really pretty. No, it's all those Oh no, I bet you those are a pain. If you guys have these, let me know. But the tree is 219. The three set of deer is 190, which is nice. This snowman right here. I don't see the price. He's phenomenal, but I do know like the arch is separate, the snowman separate. There's the ho 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 sign. I don't know about having a sign that says ho 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 in front of my house. This is cute little nativity scene, you know? Got that going. That's nice for 130. He's a nice size too. And then there's the Santa comes in 47 days. That's 100. I mean, we can get like two big decorations for less than 250, depending on your budget. I don't know. I get really weird about budgets for Christmas decorations. I try to like. Everything is so expensive. And it doesn't last more than we get when they what, two winners out of it? Yeah, and like, I don't know if you guys are like us. The Menards is terrible. But like, the squirrels are always eating the cords. But they have like the lights too. You guys wanted to do some light decorating. Okay, this is a nine foot Grand Spruce, 350, and it's either warm light or multicolored. I should probably put it in frame. Warm light or multicolored, nine foot. They also got a wood, uh, a nutcracker, not a woodcracker. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of bringing you guys into Christmas and I know it's early, but if you guys are like me, I have two December babies. So I usually start shopping for Christmas like October because I don't want to get hit with everything all at once. I used to always buy these dollhouses for my kids and these are so nice. Like it comes with, this is $150. It comes with all the stuff. It's wood, it's durable. Now I know Barbie dream house is all the rave, but I feel like these are a way better buck, way better bang for your buck. I used to buy, oh, this is so cool. Look at the play kitchen. It has like a little ice machine, everything 120. So nice. This is a farm style. Can we just use this as my model home? Cause this is what I want my house to look like. Porch and everything, 60 bucks. So maybe you don't have the space for a big house, but a little one would be kind of cute. These are kind of cute. These are 25. You can carry your little dog in here, your cat. I have this on my list for good old Sandy Claus. Now I'm not gonna lie, if I can get my Christmas shopping done early, I might buy this for myself earlier. It's actually 149 at Walmart. It's 159 here, but this is a Ninja that Creamy. More uh, it, you might be right. It might very well have that. But I want one so bad because I want to make protein ice cream, and so does Rhea. This would be such a nice way to get a sweet treat and hit your protein goals. So, Mr. Mr. Leo, can you please let Santa Claus know, Ninja Creamy, for me. Thanks, buddy. Oh, look at this like little ninja blast. If you got like a college student or somebody who's just coming in, like, you know, like your sister, your mom, your cousin, they're like trying to make protein shakes. This is so cool, 60 bucks. Soft wash sheet sets, $25, which is nice. I think it's all sizes too. King, oh no, it's king, king sizes. Are you guys doing flooring? Are you getting ready to do some flooring? This pricing is really good. Um, Let's see. This is, so we did our own flooring in the basement. If you guys want to talk about it, you guys can look back and see my whole basement renovation. We literally redid a whole, we finished a whole basement on our own. It was so hard. Okay, we still haven't finished anything. Um, okay, they are waterproof laminate for $35 per box. And then they have the molding kits. Now, I would recommend waterproof always. I would also recommend getting the subflooring too if you guys were gonna do it. Definitely works out in your benefit. This is very similar to the floor we have. Um, this is $1.80 a square foot. I think mine was like $1.15. I went to floor and decor, you do you boo. A box, six cans of Wendy's chili is $20. Now Leo loves chili, I'm not a chili person. If you're gonna go between the Hormel and the Wendy's, do you think there's a taste difference? Yeah, Hormel's kind of. Okay, is it good enough for $20? Not for $20. Yeah. I feel like you can make your own chili for $20. Yeah. We're just stocking up on beverages because 
that's what's going. We've been having a lot of company lately with the kids. We do a lot of zero, we do zero sugar. I know, I know people are gonna say something, but um, the Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar and Diet Dr. Pepper. I think Diet Dr. Pepper Zero is superior. Coca-Cola Zero, superior. Sprite Zero, Sprite Zero, woo! Nothing hits like a Sprite Zero baby, especially if it's fountain. Oh. I'm on the hunt for the Alani, um, like the Witch's Brew, and I cannot find it anywhere. I love it, it's my favorite flavor, and they have it for a case for $17.98. So, it's really good, and I picked it up for myself because it's spooky season. Bacon -y. If you guys do not use, if you guys have not downloaded the Sam's Club Scan & Go app, definitely do that. First off, you avoid the checkout lines. You are able to keep tallies on your budget, also, if you have the app, you get bonus deals on certain items if you use a scan and go. So it's definitely worth it. Just take the time and um, kind of and download it and get everything together. For somebody who's living alone or it's just you and your significant other, they have a lot of pre-cooked meals. You just gotta throw them in the oven so it could avoid eating out. Like you have stuffed peppers here for $12.50, right? And you can get like maybe three meals out of it. You do two peppers a meal. So you have or dinner, lunch, and then maybe lunch for another time that week. They have Brussels sprouts, they have like different sides, mac and cheese. They also already have Italian styled herb grilled chicken breast. So if you are trying to be more conscious about your meal prep and you're not a meal prepper and you prefer to pay a little bit extra for the ease of it, this is a great option. So definitely look into this. Okay, here are some new stuff that they have. Pork noodle stir fry. What else? They have chicken Alfredo, chicken taco kits. They also have rotisserie chicken enchiladas. So there's literally something here for everybody. And I wanna say they do have the macros broken down. So if you're worried about your calories, you can do that as well. Looking into more roasts and stuff like that. Um, maybe not the leanest cuts of meat, but this is more or less for slow cooker meals. If you guys like slow cooker meals, I love a crock, baby. Crock pots, call my name. Cro nothing screams fall to me than crock pot season. And I have some really good recipes, so let me know down below. Are you guys, do you guys wanna see those? Easy crock pot meals that are good for your family and that are family approved? You know, I got you super easy, dump and go, but delicious and not mushy. Cause nothing is worse than a crock pot mushy ass meal. I know I'm early, but I gotta tell you guys, they have like Lucky Brand men's sleep pants. They're kind of Christmassy, they're $10. Great gifts, you can buy them for the kids. They also have the, like, they're like little robes, character robes for Christmas. They have Spider-Man, these are $17. They have Nightmare Before Christmas and they have Disney Princesses. And they go from small to extra large in kids. So really, really cute, great gifts. You know, if you're just trying to ease into your shopping now. Um, my mom bought these for the girls last year, but like in girl colors, you know. They're like little shackets. They're really warm. Like I wore them when it was like, in between times, they're really nice. You have somebody in your life you wanna buy a dress for, you're looking for cute little dresses for work. These are Nine West dresses. I'm gonna kinda of see. They're kinda of like an A-line dress. They're 15 bucks. Really nice. Here's another great gift idea. These are $15 pajama sets. They're like really nice. 15 bucks, they come in black and white. They have like flowers, pink, green. Really, really nice. So many cute things for Carter's. These are $10. They're like little fleece sets. They have, uh, look at this, pants sets for girls. Look at what they have for boys. They have like the Gap hoodie, really cute. They have Youth High Rise Super Skinny Levi's. These are $14, which is a really great deal. Now they have these kids like retro t-shirts. Barbie, these are $4.81. I wish I had a kid in my life to buy that for because my girls can't fit them and they won't wear them, but they have like ACDC. $5 for a t-shirt. Maybe you have somebody who's a sportsy kind of person. They got Adidas. Let's see, these are the Adidas hoodies. These are 30, but they also have the Adidas like workout leggings. Yoga flare pants, 15 or $14.97. And then the active leggings are $24.98. These are the flare leg pants. For 15 bucks oh, okay yeah. these are the members mark like those dang that lady hit that corner on two wheels <laughs> did y'all hear that that lady hit that corner on <gasps> oh these are juicy suits first off all of our kids would love these all of them all of them so you can get a whole track suit for 40 bucks because their tops are sold top and bottoms are separate 
you lie. Do they see Mean Girls anywhere? I think I'm gonna come back and get these for the kids for Christmas. I know it seems early, but if you guys are from the Midwest, we have had snow on Halloween. I love a long jacket that covers the bum, and I love that the cinches right here on the waist, it actually, you know, doesn't make you like a big blob. Uh, it's $45, and it's DKNY. They're really, really nice. I wanted to show you guys these sweaters. These are the French Connection, like sleeveless sweater vests, $17. Aren't they so cute? We came with a very determined list and a budget. That is my biggest word of advice to you guys if you're shopping wholesaler. Don't go in there blinded. Have an idea of what you want to get because sometimes this place will tell you what you need and that's not a good idea because you necessarily don't need the stuff they tell you. But anyways, we're going to check out and then I want to see you guys at home. But let me show you my cart and let me see what you guys think our grand total is. Here is the cart. We are full. We got a good amount of meats, a lot of bevies, fruits, lots of things. So what do you think our grand total is? I'm just going to let you guys look inside the cart right there. We are full. I'll tell you when we get home. We are home and the grand total is $405. A little bit over budget, $55 over budget, but that's okay because I did get some stuff that I was anticipating getting on Saturday. We are having a pozole party, okay? Um, I'm gonna make some homemade pozole on Sunday and then I'm also gonna do a Biscoff Tres Leches cake. So I need to get a couple things for that. Um, it, you know, it's added up to the budget. But anyways, I'm gonna go through everything that I got and I'm gonna give you like a rough estimate of each price and what I have so remember each Sam's location obviously has different stuff and you know you get what you get for your family you feed your kids how you want to um, my kids we just kind of worry about portion control that's kind of what we've been on and it's been really well for them well so anyways let me just share with you what we got first things first was the Dr. Pepper zero sugar it was 16 bucks it was the cheapest thing um, I would have preferred Coke zero but Dr. Pepper zero is all right as you guys know I hashtag treated myself to the Alani new um, I think this was 20 bucks pretty sure this is like 18 or 20 dollars but it is what it is I got myself some Tide Plus Downy for laundry. This was $19. This was an extra thing that I picked up. These are the food storage containers. Now I do send these to Leo um, for his lunch. And then I also just send these with people when I send home takeaways. And then if they want to keep it or they want to toss the Tupperware, it's all good. And it just lasts us forever. I usually try to pick these up once a year and they last a pretty good time. And these were $8, which you cannot beat 60 pieces. So it comes with 30 Tupperwares and 30 lids. This is one of the things I got for our pozole party. This was the paper bowls. These are just really big. Um, I don't have a dishwasher and it, it, I'm not washing all these dang dishes. People always like to comment on like the paper plates and stuff. If I can find paper pots and pans, I would have those as well. Um, I just don't have a dishwasher and I've been washing dishes for the better part of 30 years. I'm tired, okay? So anyways, um, I picked these up. These are 15 bucks. They will last us forever. We could do cereal in them. I mean, literally, these will probably last us for a year. So picked those up. I got this thing of spaghetti. It's like a mixed box of it. Um, I could do spaghetti for the family. One of my carb sources for my meal plans is also um, pasta. It's like one of my carbs. And I could do like a mix of it. You know, I'll do like the elbows and I'll throw those in like my salads or I'll just have like a spaghetti with some chicken and some lime and some Parmesan. Um, you can really mix it and match it. And these are one of the things that are always good to have in your cupboard, especially now that it's getting cold and you're looking for like a good like hearty meal when the cold days. This was eight bucks. Um, I got this for my kids. These are just the Kraft Mac and Cheeses. Um, these are things that I just, like I said, I have in my cupboard if my girls have their friends over, if they're looking for a quick snack. Um, Sophia's in a couple clubs after school now, so she's, you know, super busy. Um, Rhea's, you know, between her clubs and activities and her work. It's always nice just to have something they can just kind of grab with them and go and still, you know, kind of watch their caloric intake. And I looked at the calories with them, with these, and they were pretty good. Uh, so for a whole mac and cheese is 220 calories, which wasn't too bad for them. These are the Chex Mix peanut butter chocolate bars. These were $7, and I think they're 140 calories. The kids really, really liked them. They said these were really good, and these are just something that they can mix and match and throw into their lunch. 
I got a case of Pure Life water. This was $6. Instead of doing um, like the fruit cups that I've been getting, because those go fast, you know, I got the Mott's sugar-free applesauce. It's 50 calories. And I figured I can have this as well, like for a pre-workout snack. And it's 13 carbs. It's like a nice light snack and the girls can bring it in their lunch. And there was a ton in here and this was $12. I got three things of the Classico uh, four cheese spaghetti sauce and like whatever pasta sauce whatever you call it this was eight dollars and just one of those things it's nice just to have in the cupboard or if there's looking for a quick meal to throw together this will be it i got the downy like scent beads i stopped using liquid detergent about a year ago and i've noticed my clothes have been a lot better i was getting like like oil stains from the like fabric the liquid fabric softener and since i went to this it's been fine um this was 14 dollars I got Fruity Pebbles. This was $6 for two bags. Um, I have Fruity Pebbles. I have like a choice of cereal every night and I just had a taste for Fruity Pebbles. I only get like 30 or 40 grams, but it's still a nice little treat. I got the girls some goldfish for their lunches. I'm trying to step away from the chips for a little bit, give them a break. And I want to say these are only 110 calories per bag and there were 45 bags and these were $14. I did say I am making pozole this weekend and I needed to get some hominy and they had this here. This is the Juanita's one. I don't know if this one's good. Um, I, they all taste the same to me. Um, if someone says like, how come you don't make your hominy fresh? Baby, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> okay, I could make some bomb pozole though. If you're looking for a good pozole recipe, you know I got you. My pozole is absolutely so good. So are my tamales. My swag bar taught me well, okay? But this is the one we're using. Just make sure if you use your hominy, you gotta rinse it and stuff, don't be nasty. Um, I got the girls some Chef Boyardee. Again, this isn't like a week worth of groceries. This is like months. This is usually like five to six weeks worth of food for the cupboard. And sometimes these last even longer because the kids will forget they're in there. And they can have a whole can for 320 calories. So, you know, just something that they can just throw in there and be out the door with. I don't know if I showed you guys this, but this, my favorite thing, I'm actually gonna crack these open as soon as this video is over. These are the pineapple spears and coconut water. They are absolutely scrumptious. The water, don't toss it, drink it. It is so delicious. And the macros are really nice. A half a cup, it's usually like a spear or two. 23 carbs, 80 calories. And I have this sometimes as like a pre-workout snack and it's so good and the water, delish. I wanna show you guys the meat we actually got this time around. We got some top sirloin steak. And these are, we're gonna actually have some of these for dinner. This is, we got it on sale for $29.72 on Wednesdays. I don't know if it's just Wednesdays, but I had our- So whenever they're, it's about to like expire. Yeah, but like I feel- It starts to look a little discolored, which is fine. I mean, it doesn't look the best, but the color doesn't determine whether the meat's good or bad. Okay, well, there you have it. But um, I feel like on Wednesdays, they always have some of their stuff marked down. I don't know why, okay? But we've had really good luck on that. So we're gonna take some of these for dinner and then I'm gonna take some more of these. There's a whole bunch of like steaks in there and we're gonna cut them up, make steak tacos for dinner. And the other half are just gonna go into the freezer for a meal at a later date. And then I got some ground beef. I got it for 1906. This is just two meals. So I can either take this and do like ground beef tacos. I can do, I don't know, you can do something with ground beef. I throw this in with my red sauce and make like a spaghetti with it. You know, I feel like with ground beef, you can make it do whatever you need it to do. And it's a really easy way to feed the family. Um, I got the uncured Canadian bacon. And I've been liking these because you get more than you would get with just the like turkey bacon. And you get three pieces as opposed to the two. And it's, I don't know, I just feel like the volume is a little bit better. These were 13 bucks and they last pretty good time. I got, I still have one of these downstairs in the freezer and my butcher box is gonna be coming shortly. So that's why I didn't get a ton of meat. Um, these are the boneless, skinless chicken thighs. This is what I have as my chicken source. Um, sometimes I've been doing either this and I've been doing like a rotisserie chicken for like five bucks from like Costco and just having that throughout the week as well. This was $13.77. If you guys were looking for a way to have this, I take the Kinder's lemon pepper seasoning and give them a nice coat. I throw them in my air fryer at 375 for 20 minutes, flip halfway, come out so good and delicious every time. And I guarantee you, um, as long as you kind of make sure all this little white skin's off, the mac Macros, the fat macros off by like one or two grams as opposed to a dry chicken breast. I got the uncured hard salami. This is just for the kids' lunches. This was 10 bucks. I got a thing of pastured raised eggs for five. 
these are Leo and the girls favorites these are the premier protein pancakes these were $13 and they love them they taste like the McDonald's pancakes to me um, Leo's very honest about food like this and he even says that they taste pretty good so 210 for three pancakes for fat 27 carbs and 15 grams of protein nice little snack and then I got some chicken nuggets for the kids. These are some Tyson chicken nuggets. I tried the beer ones and the kids did not like them. These were $14. This is my kids' favorite thing of bread. This is the Italian bread, $5. I got some peanut butter. I get peanut butter with one meal and I get like 16 grams. It's not a lot, but 16 grams when you're hungry for some peanut butter is 16 grams. I used to only get like 10 grams when I was in a cut, so I'll take the 16. But this was $8 for two of them and they last forever. If you are, these are our favorite tortillas. I don't, I know they don't sell these everywhere because I know the factory's here, but we get these um, for a really good price there and they're usually fresh. So the El Milagro corn tortillas. And look at for two tortillas, it's 100 calories, one and a half fat, 21 carbs, and three protein. And I sometimes have those as my carb source. And I think these are like 25 cents each. And then I got a thing of limes. This was $5. I got a thing of cosmic apples for $6. I got two of these Santa Fe salads. I got them for like Ray or Sophie that if Ray wanted to take them to work or if she's in between church or Sophia wanted to take it while she's out and about with her clubs, she can have them as well. They're six bucks. They're not like they're $3 a salad. But I just thought it'd be a nice little thing for them to take. Maybe if they weren't hungry and they just didn't want a snack. Um, I got this sirloin tip roast. Um, I have an idea for a crock pot meal. If you guys want to see that crock pot meal, let me know in the comments below. It's not going to be a Mississippi pot roast, okay? It might, it's not going to be a Mississippi pot roast. Everybody's always talking about Mississippi pot roast. I love a good Mississippi pot roast, but damn, people played that recipe to death. It's chicken Mississippi, it's, it's Mississippi pot roast, Mississippi chicken, Mississippi everything. We're not Mississippi and nothing. Love Mississippi, but we're done with the pot roast. Um, I got some lemons. These are a ton of lemons. They're only $3, but they're usually like $1.75 each at the local grocer, and I love a good lemon. I got a thing of mini cucumbers because I've been making like a little cucumber salad to go on top of my food, and it's been really good. These were $4. I've been slowly incorporating tomatoes again, and we've been really good. I've just been doing like these little cherry tomatoes. This was five dollars, and I love them. They're so good. I also got some grapes for six dollars, strawberries for five, and then avocados for seven. That is my entire Sam's Club haul with prices. If you guys have found anything new at your Sam's Club, let me know. I was looking for the Drizzle Licious mini rice cakes. We got them from Costco the last time we went there and they were so good and if people are saying they have them at Sam's, my Sam's did not have them. Um, I was impressed with their clothes. I think if you are getting ready to start for Christmas shopping, there's a lot of good options at Sam's right now. But let me know, did you see something that I showed that you were like, oh my gosh, I gotta go look and see if they have that at mine because I need it? Let me know. I'll see you on the next one. If you're new here, I do these monthly stock up hauls. I go in between Sam's Club or Costco. Do you guys want to see Costco next time? Do you want me to stick at Sam's? Let me know down below. And make sure you subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, share the video, share the channel. And I appreciate y'all. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.